Hey YouTube, TN Tactical here. So uh, the reason I decided to make this video is because uh, a while back I had uh, traded a Glock uh, 17 that I have, that I had actually for uh, another gun that I currently own and I'll make a video of it. But uh, the person that I traded the Glock to was pretty uh, impressed on how well kept and clean the gun was after a thousand rounds I had shot it through the range and uh, we became close friends and uh, we like to hit the range once in a while when I'm in town and when I told him that I was making this YouTube video and actually this YouTube channel he had brought it to my attention that I had that I should uh, make a video on how I cle clean my Glocks or my pistols after I hit the range now this is not a full detail strip cleaning video, this is just a, a video on how I clean my guns after I hit the range. So uh, getting to it guys, as you guys can see this is my Glock 26 Gen 4, uh, all black, safety checking it first, it is loaded, breaking back the slide, as you can see it is empty, pointing at a safe direction firing, taking the gun apart. As you can see, I went to the range the other day, so the the gun is still pretty dirty. Haven't had a chance to uh, make a video, so I uh, took advantage right now. So taking the gun apart, I do have a stainless steel guide rod, 18 pound spring from Glock store. As you guys remember, I had a 16 pound spring, excuse me, I had an 18 pound spring and uh, went ahead and uh, was having problems with it, went ahead and switched, switched it back to uh, a 16 pound spring that uh, I contacted the Glock store, so they went ahead and returned that. So we'll put that aside because we won't be cleaning that for the moment. We'll put the frame to the side, we'll get that to it in a moment also. So we want to concentrate first on the barrel and then the the slide. So uh, for the barrel, what I like to use, guys, is the uh, the gun slick foaming bore cleaner. Been using it for a while. All I do is just uh, spray some in there, like so. Make sure I get both sides. Getting both sides guys like this I just go ahead and put that to the side standing up and the remaining I'll just go ahead and clean it now I do keep this in a bag inside a sandwich bag just for the main reason of anything that leaks out it won't get into my toolbox and getting all dirty so what I want to do next is with my uh, gun pro cleaner is that I like to uh, go ahead and clean the slide off so I'll try to do this as best as I can with the uh, tripod in the middle but I'll go ahead and shake it up and just spray some like so and with my toothbrush I'll just go ahead and uh, Clean that up real nice. Get all that uh, gunpowder and brass shavings, everything that might still be left behind from the range. And then I'll just uh, clean that off. I'll try to make this as quick as I can guys, usually this takes me around 15 minutes, at first it used to take me around 20-25 minutes, I'm real OCD, that I like to keep everything real nice and clean, I like to uh, keep my, my guns well prepared for next time I hit the range or in case uh, of in self defense. So uh, that's pretty much it on the front. And what I like to do, I don't like to uh, get any uh, 
any liquids inside the strike pin or any uh, any liquids any gun cleaner in here so what I do is I just go ahead and uh, spray the end real quick right here like so let that run down and then just start cleaning it real good and then with the remaining gun cleaner just go ahead and clean the other side as you can see that came out pretty dirty and then just clean the excess out Now there's a there's gonna be a couple of guys out there that's gonna probably comment and say why do you have to always clean it really perfect or you don't have to clean it every time you hit the range. But I mean everybody has their own opinion guys and like I said if you can't go a day without showering then you shouldn't keep your gun the same way. So everybody likes to take a shower at least I know I do every day. Some people like to take a shower at least twice a day. So I just hit this uh, this part right here with the remaining gun cleaner that's left on the toothbrush. And clean it off. And then just uh, do the same process, just clean it off. And as you can see, that comes out pretty dirty, guys. And like I was saying, I mean, there's going to be a... Uh, youtubers out there i know there's some videos out there of guys that don't clean their glocks at least after 500 or a thousand rounds and uh there's youtubers out there that clean their glocks right after the the range i know hickok 45 does so um i'm the same way guys i like to clean my glocks or my pistols or my ars after I hit the range, I like to have them ready just in case. Like I said, if there's in need of a self-defense situation, you want to have that weapon ready. So what I did, guys, is that uh, on that little lip right there, guys, it's all I like to uh, just get the, the end of this uh, towel right here and then just back and forth, just clean it back and forth, try to get everything that might be stuck in there. And then just clean it really good, guys, like so. So that's pretty much it on the slide. So what I like to do next, so I like to get two patches, no more than two patches, at least one for each side. And doing so, I just go ahead and fold that like so and pinch the corner and uh, sliding that through here to get anything that we couldn't reach with that towel. And as you can see, that comes out pretty dirty. So I'll go ahead and uh, get another clean side, do the same process. Just squeeze it in there, guys, and just back and forth. And as you can see, and just to be on the safe side, I'll just go ahead and run the patch one more time through this side. There you go. And then I'll just go ahead and do the other side. I'll just go ahead and get the patch. Same process as the other side. Pinch it in there. As you can see, it comes out pretty dirty. For some reason, one side always comes out dirty and then the other side. I'm not sure why, but I like to do this every time. So every time I hit the range, guys, if I'm taking two or three weapons with me, this is what I'm doing to uh, those weapons at home. After they cool down for a little bit, 
I go to my work area, to my garage, and this is what I do. It takes me around an hour and a half, probably two hours. Depends on the weapon. And then I get it real nice and ready for next time. So we'll set the slider aside. We're pretty much done with that. Then I like to start with the uh, with the barrel. And as you can see the barrel, actually we'll put the barrel aside. We want to get that foam cleaner to really work down that barrel. So we'll go ahead and jump to the frame. And as you can see the frame does still have some gunpowder residue so I'll just uh, go ahead and spray some gun cleaner and just with the, with the towel just wipe that off that's all you have to do here now uh, this gun is fairly new so I already did a full detail strip on it uh, I like to do a full detail strip on it depends uh, either 500 or a thousand rounds this gun already I did it at a thousand rounds so I've only shot around probably 400 rounds so I still need a couple of rounds more to go but once I uh, I get one of my other guns I think my Glock uh, 27 is almost uh, ready for a full detail strip I'll get that and make a video so uh, as you guys can see right here on this rails right here I'll just go ahead and clean that off this metal parts right here the metal block get everything real nice nice and clean the back part clean it as well and like I said my Glock 27 I think it's almost due for a full detail strip cleaning I think I need around 300 rounds and uh, once uh, I reach that limit, I'll just go ahead and make another full detail strip cleaning video for you guys. Just kind of show you guys uh, how I like to clean my, my pistols. Now what I do next guys, as you can see, all that, uh, that dirty gunpowder in there, what I just do is I just go ahead and spray right here where the magazine goes not over here but where the magazine goes I'll just go ahead and spray it towards an angle like so pretty much everything went down to the to the countertop and then just clean it like so and as you can see looks better than uh, how it looked before so what I like to do next is with the q-tip I'll just go ahead and hit the hard to reach places the ones that I couldn't get with the uh, with the towel and just clean it up as much as I can every angle that I couldn't get every nook and cranny real nice and clean as you can see how that q-tip comes out so that's how I like to just hit every corner that I could reach with the q-tip get the other side and just go ahead and uh, clean it one more time make sure you want to clean it in here guys so that's pretty much it so once the frame is done, we'll go ahead and uh, what I like to do on the on the guy rod is just clean it up with the uh, with the towel. Usually, just get some gunpowder residue on the front tip right here. Just go ahead and clean it. As you can see, it just cleans up real nice. Just a nice real clean. And that's pretty much it guys we don't want to put any oils on this just clean it over the top as you guys can see the foam is working downwards so as you guys can see it's leaving uh, all that 
brass shavings, uh, gunpowder residue, everything is going down. So what I do now is that I just uh, go ahead and spray the barrel and just, just clean it, clean the outside first, like so, the other side. Just with the toothbrush, just go ahead and scrub it. Now I like to uh, take advantage when I see uh, sales on uh, toothbrushes. If I see a four pack or a six pack, depends on the sale they have, I like to take advantage. Because these uh, toothbrushes only are good for a couple of uses. And then you gotta throw them away. So I go ahead and clean right here, inside, try to get that leftover residue right here. So that's pretty much it guys, as you guys can see how different it looks from how it was before. So then what I like to use, and I, I know some guys don't like to use this, go ahead and clean our countertop real good. So I like to use a bore. Or snake. I know you guys don't like to use it. You guys like to use the uh, the uh, the brass the brass or the nylon uh, brush, but I like to use the boar snake. So I'll just go ahead and slide that through in here, slide the other side, and then just pull it. Try to switch angles here, guys. Just try to pull it out. Try to get this on camera. There you go. I'll just hit it one time, guys. So afterwards, I like just like to go ahead and just twist the uh, the mop through the barrel to kind of just make sure get that assurance that it's nice and clean there you go just uh, go ahead and just twist it again and I think that looks pretty good try to get a good angle in there looks nice and clean the other side looks nice and clean go ahead and get my my towel and wipe any residue anything fingerprints and oils that might be still left behind so that's pretty much it guys so what i do next is uh i'll still go ahead and i'll use this uh gun butter which i really really like because of this needle point tip that he has been using it for a while great tool so what i do next is uh i'll just add one little dot right there and just uh, with my pinky just rub that around on the frame like so and then I'll just go ahead and on the slide rail just go ahead and add a little line right there same thing on the other side like that other side of the rail and towards the end like so so once that is done I just add one little dot right here, a line, straight across, and just with my finger, just rub it around. Now I don't like to go all the way towards the end. I just like to keep it towards the middle of the barrel. Like so. And that's pretty much it. I don't know if you guys could see that angle right there. 
but that's pretty much it. So I'll just go ahead and add my uh, my barrel to the slide. And my guy rod. Like so. Now for the frame, what I like to do is I just uh, add one little dot right here. And then just use that same quantity of grease just to add it right here on this the side of this rails right here that are going to be rubbing against metal to metal add just a little bit more for the bat get some and then just add some right here get the remaining of it and just add it to the bat there you go Now I just add one little dot right here on the trigger spring right here. I'll try to get it on camera. Right there. Just one little dot right there and then just work that. Just make sure that grease works in there really nice. There you go. So after that, pretty much I'm done with it. Put it back together. Makes a big, big difference. Taking the gun apart, you guys can see that the that grease just slides all over that slide so that's why I like to add just a little bit of grease in there putting our gun back together the last step that I like to do guys and this is my very last step is that I like to just get this hops silicone cloth just to give it a nice shine if you guys can see it's probably a little dirty fingerprints and oils that might, might have been left behind. Just clean it with my cloth real nice and then just get the uh, silicone cloth. Been using it for a while. It does a great job. I'll see if you guys can do a before and after. Before. And then just get that real nice. A real nice polish shiny polish so it's a very good product to have on your toolbox guys works on any gun any AR any rifle anything you guys might think of works real nice get a little bit on the frame want to get the slide real nice and clean real nice and shiny and that's pretty much it guys so uh I hope you guys enjoyed my YouTube video on how I clean my pistols after I hit the range. Hope this helps you a little bit. This is how I always clean my Glocks or my pistols. And this is how I traded my, my Glock 17 to this fellow a long time ago. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave some comments below. Please subscribe. And I'll try to answer your comments as soon as possible. God bless.